What is up guys and girls, Hurricane Liz here. And on this video, I show you a secret tool that not only is going to tell you what some of the hottest opportunities are on Amazon, but it's also going to tell you what keywords you should be going for in every single one of your product opportunities. So you can use this for t-shirts, you can use this for books, or you can use this for physical products. So I'm fired up to show this to you. I hope you're fired up. Let's do this. Okay, so I'm in the back of Amazon and that is the key here. You are going to need an Amazon seller account. It can't just be a KDP account, it can't be any of that. You will need a seller account. However, having the seller account is almost worth having this tool and I'm gonna show you why here in a second. Let's see what it does, right? I am in the back end here of brand analytics and I know a lot of people are thinking like, oh Liz, I don't have brand analytics, I don't have any of that shit, I don't have no trademark. That's fine, you don't have to have it. When you have an Amazon account, usually what pops up here is if you click on this little hamburger thing, which is this little, for, I don't know, quadruple decker, whatever the hell that is. You go right on down here and you go to growth. So under the growth, there is something called Product Opportunity Explorer. It's a hidden gem inside of Amazon. And I would say that less than 1% of sellers know about this. In fact, I hardly know anyone that's ever talked about this. That's why I'm super excited about it in general. And so here is the magic tool. And here's where things get really sexy. I'm gonna pull up a couple of common keywords that we always look for when we're in the KDP niche. And then all, there we go, niche. I know all the French people are gonna claim like, Liz, what? there you effing go again with niche. All right, so what we do is right here. We click on this, find opportunities by category. We can either look at them by category. Unfortunately, books is not in here yet. Hopefully they add it at some point, but who knows? What we wanna do is we wanna enter our most common keywords. So a few keywords come to mind when I think of this. We're always examining coloring books. We're always looking at journals. We're always looking at puzzle books. So I'm gonna try and enter a few and I'm gonna show you what pops back up. And then I'm gonna show you where the magic happens. And yeah, it's not in the bedroom. It's here on Amazon. And that's how you can tell I'm a real nerd, people. All right, so here we go. Find opportunities by search. I'm just gonna go ahead and enter coloring. And you'll start to see that a bunch of things come up, right? Amazon's suggesting all these things, but it's not, I don't see anything that I like or that I want yet. So we're just gonna go ahead and enter a second word. Coloring book, here we go. Crayola coloring book, Marvel, Spider-Man, a large coloring book, Moana. So we can click on any one of those and we're gonna get some information, but I'm gonna go ahead and further niche it down and add some more words. Coloring book, I'm gonna put four, cause we always know that this pops up, the four, and then we have the age group. So I wanna see what it says in general. Yeah, it's got Disney, it's got Spider-Man, it's got Frozen. We can always put coloring book for kids. And then let's see if anything pops up here. So it's just showing us these three. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit that and see what pops up. And now what I wanna do, and this is where the magic really happens. If you have a very specific keyword that you feel is your primary keyword and you wanna find out what group of keywords does Amazon believe are very closely related to this keyword? Here where, here's where it gets interesting. You wanna put those rabbit ears up because here's where the real magic happens. And so when we enter it, you'll notice that a bunch of other things pops up, right? Coloring books for kids. And I think I added the S and, and other things popped up. So I'm gonna go and look and see through some of these. Now I can go through some of these and get some ideas as to what's popping up. Here's many coloring books, giant coloring pages, all sorts of things like that, um, that pop up. And that's all these that pop up. What we're gonna do next is we're gonna search another keyword that I just saw to make this much faster. If, if I do it that route, it can take an hour or so, or even 30 minutes to truly find out what is associated with any particular keyword. So I'm gonna look at something that I know and I saw already exist. So I'm gonna look up jumbo coloring book. And now once I do that and I do the command find, I'm gonna do command find and then I'm gonna search jumbo coloring book and you're gonna notice immediately the keyword that I'm searching for pops up in this first customer need. And so here's where the magic happens. And again, I tried to shoot this video before and I searched for a keyword that I had no idea about and I was already there for 30 minutes searching for this keyword. So it can take some work to locate it, but I'm gonna show you what I mean by locate it and why it's so important once you can find this keyword in this basket. And like I said, it's right here. It's under this customer need, which is giant coloring pages, and it's one of the top search terms. What I'm gonna do is click into this customer need, and then I'm gonna scroll down and hit this search terms, and I just need to find that particular keyword and verify that yes, in fact, it is in the basket of keywords 
related to the customer need with Jumbo Giant with Giant Coloring Pages. Here it is, Jumbo Coloring Book. Now, here's where the magic happens. Amazon is basically on this page telling you which other keywords are most closely associated with that primary keyword that you elected to pick for your product. And it's pretty much screaming at the top of their lungs straight up at you that these are all the rest of the keywords related to your primary keyword. So essentially you should be using all these other keywords, not only in the back end, but in your bullets, sprinkling them throughout your title, making sure that you're running pay per click with these, trying to get ranked for all these basket of keywords because these keywords are the most closely related to your primary keyword. And again, this is golden information because Amazon is telling you which keywords you should be going for. So if you're not listening, then you're gonna lose to all the other savvy sellers that at least do this piece of the whole puzzle. So again, it's putting it in the title, it's putting it in the bullets, it's putting it in the back end, and most importantly, it's running pay-per-click advertising on their own platform using these words. So if all you did is just grab all these keywords and toss them into a pay-per-click campaign and do all the rest of the above that I just spoke about, you are going to be already ahead of 99.1% of sellers, and I just grabbed that out of my ass, people. But I will guarantee that you will be ahead of all the other sellers, like 99% of sellers, you'll be far ahead of them. So let's take a look at some of these words. Like obviously Melissa and Doug Coloring Pad, we can't, we're not gonna be able to really rank for that. That's a branded term, but jumbo coloring books for kids ages four to eight, large coloring books for kids ages four to eight, large coloring sheets. A lot of Melissa and Doug, but you can toss those out. All the rest of them are clear cut winners and are all related to your primary keyword as per Amazon's data. What better, more conclusive data do you need than that? So again, that is really huge. And although I did it on the previous one and I already was 30 minutes in and I couldn't find the which need it was involved with, it will be in there. Sometimes it just takes a lot of digging and sometimes that takes some time for you to go through each and every campaign. Because essentially what you're gonna have to do is click into each of them, go to the search terms and then locate your main term. And then you will then find all the keywords that are very closely related to that as per Amazon. Again, that is huge. That is something that I've not heard anyone else talk about, but it works like gangbusters. And the reason that I know this is I do have the, my ranking service and I can see that when we elect keywords that are here uh, related to our primary keyword, the ranking is synergistic and all the keywords are working together to amplify each other versus if we grab two keywords that are possibly closely related to one another and make sense for the product, they're not gonna do as well as if we use the ones that Amazon is pretty much feeding us. So what would you rather do? Make it quick and easy by looking at Amazon's very own data or relying on yourself to try and gather and figure out what the hell you should do. So don't rely on other keyword tools, rely on just Amazon's data, which is there to help you succeed and do even better. And again, this can go for anything. So if we type in journal here, we can see what pops up. There's journal notebook, we can do journal notebook. Uh, we can also look at this dot journal, we can do dot journal notebook, um, paperage blank journal notebook. I don't even know what that is, but let's go ahead and do daily journal notebook. We can even put the four and see if anything pops up. Nothing's popped up. So if we look at this daily journal notebook, we can see all these ideas for some daily journal notebooks. There's not really that much of them. There's some watercolor sketchbooks, things like that. So this is a lot more general, but we can use this for just about anything that we want, like t-shirt for men. We can do that as well. Hawaiian shirt for men. So those seem to be kind of hot. We can click on that. It was a muscle t-shirt and we can go in here and look in Hawaiian shirts for men, Hawaiian t-shirt for men. Here's a Hawaiian t-shirt for women and so forth. And it's just limitless the amount of ideas. Look at this, 12 pages of this type of information. So if we were looking for a very specific keyword, it could take us hours to find the basket of keywords most closely related to it. But oftentimes that information is golden. Again, you can use this for just about any niche. Unfortunately, like I said, the books are not in there yet, but I do figure that at some point they will be available, but it is a useful tool just to have an Amazon seller account to get this information as you can find a lot of terrific data from having this tool in your arsenal. So again, if you wanna find out more information on how we rank products by zip code, my email is below, just reach out to me and I can definitely help you rank books, t-shirts and or physical products. Questions and comments go below. I always personally answer those and I'll see you guys next time.